Hey guys, it's Chi back with another tutorial and today I'll be teaching you how to do the Y shake, the skew shake and the impact shake. So let's get into it. Hi guys, so we're going to start with the Y shake and right now I just have my roll clips with zooms and um, opacity. So what you want to do is you just want to create an adjustment layer on the previous clip and the, and the clip you want the actual Y shake to be on. So we're going to make the pre Y shake so what you want to do is to go to the end of your first clip and you want to search up BCC directional blur. Okay, so after that, you want to change the angle to zero and you want to change the blur amount to 60 and click keyframe and then hit U so you can see keyframe and go back 15 frames and then change this to zero. Okay, so now what you want to do is to highlight and ease these, the keyframes and make sure it's on value and you want to copy my graph. Okay, so your graph should just basically look like that and um, once you've done that, you want to add the effect S underscore Glamacos and you want to make sure that your tiles are reflected and what you want to do is keyframe the shift Y on zero and then you want to move six frames and make this minus 58 and then you want to go to the end on the keyframes and you want to change this to 140 and then you want to highlight this, these. Okay, so after that, you want to go on the graphs and you basically want to copy my graph. So you can leave the first one, but you want to just pretty much do the similar graph so that it's like matching. Um, basically, you just like move this, like, you know, where it's like the peak, like somewhere like here, like somewhere around like there. So, okay. See, that's the graph and then when you go back it looks like this okay. so that is the pre y shake all right so now moving on to the actual main y shake you want to select your adjustment layer and then on this adjustment layer you want to add the effect s and let's go blow my code again and you want to change um the y shift to minus 515. Oh yeah, make sure make sure to reflect your tiles as well. And then after that you want to move two frames and make this 76. Okay, so after that now you want to move four frames and you wanna change this to minus 10. So we change this to minus 10. And then after that, you want to move about eight, um, oh, six frames. And then change this to five. And then you want to move eight frames. And make this zero. So now, you have this. So now what you want to do is you want to also highlight these. Keyframe is these. Actually, you know what? You don't need to change the graph in this one. And um, okay, so then after that, you've done that, you're gonna add ECC directional blur. Um, and then you wanna change this to zero, of course. And you wanna change the, the first, the directional, like the blur amount to like, uh, let's do 315. And then we're gonna move 30 frames, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm going to make this 0, guys. And as you can see, we have the blur. All you can do is also easy as this. And we're going to actually have a graph for this. And the graph will look like this. But like, like, like don't drag it all the way down, you know what I mean? So you just drag this 
like like here let's say and then after that your why should you look like this so that's how you do it okay guys moving on to the skew shake you guys probably you don't need to do this on the adjustment layer so you want to add the effect motion tile and you just want to make sure your you have some motion tile enabled what uh, mirror edges okay so then you want to set the effect transform and on transform you want to make sure that you have uh, create a keyframe with 20 on skew and I'll just create another keyframe and make it zero and then after that you want to highlight this keyframe assistant easy use I literally copy my graph so basically it just looks like like pretty much this but like what I'm saying so it basically look like that okay so this make sure it's like that okay so once you've done that you wanna you wanna keyframe the skew axis that changes to minus 180 and move the last keyframe and also make this zero what we want to do is to highlight them it is probably this graph uh, pretty much the same thing i guess so like do that there and then just make it like 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 here let's see Okay, so now what we want to do is highlight them and extend them like so you get this you know what i mean okay guys moving on to the impact shake so we just want to search up this effect called s underscore shake and we can do is keyframe amplitude on one and go to some part and get from zero and then what you want to do is to highlight these it is um and copy this very simple graph it's a, like a sharp graph so then now drag them like this and then when you go back you just want to like um extend it to where your clip ends so and then you should have this So this is the finished product and if you guys are interested of purchasing my presets um, you can go into my payhip link in the description and use the code WSG2 for 10% off and I just want to say thank you so much guys for watching and for the support thank you for 400 subscribers and we'll see you next time bye bye